Working with multiple files in Adobe Audition is easy. In fact, it saved my editing life. Let's find out exactly why it did that. Well, here we are in the default view of Adobe Audition and you see I've got the waveform here for my music. I've got a female voiceover over here and I can make edits and changes here, but multi-track is so much better. Let me show you why. First of all, there is a difference between destructive and non-destructive editing. If we're working in the waveform view, that's the view you can presently see in Audition, we are making destructive edits, edits that cannot be undone, meaning we're writing those edits to the audio file. We really don't want to do that. It saved my life on many occasions where I've had stuff changed in the multi-track non-destructively and I can go back to any step I made in the past and correct it at a later date. So a practical example, say I've got this music and I want to turn it down. I can grab this volume dial and turn it down by 4 dB and I've done that but now that's a permanent change to my audio. Not ideal, I can Command Z or Control Z that and I can take it into the multi-track view. Let's call this mic and we'll use no template for this particular recording. And now we can go ahead and drag in that music. So let's do so right here. And I can turn it down here by, yep, you guessed it, another 4 dB. It's done that visually for me. I can see that's quieter. But now back here in the waveform, it hasn't been written. It's a non-destructive edit works the same for voiceovers as well. Here's a female voiceover. 23rd Street, Miami, Florida. Perfect stuff, isn't it? Sounding good. Now, if I go ahead and add an effect, like for instance, uh, amplitude and compression, and I normalize this, let's click OK. Let's normalize it to 100%. It will definitely make it louder. And then I go in and I add in some filtered EQ. Let's add in the scientific filter and let's roll off below 250 Hertz. 23rd Street, Miami, Florida. And then let's just for good measure go in and add modulation. Let's add some chorus. 23rd Street, Miami, Florida. Sounds absolutely awful, but you get the idea of what's going on. Now, say I didn't want the normalize or I didn't want the roll off below 250 hertz. I've written those changes to the waveform. So now I need to command or control Z, uh, which is not really convenient because I have to go back many steps and I might have made changes down the line that I don't want to alter. So I'd have to go and do everything all over again just to get back, say, five or ten steps to make an edit. That's why non-destructive editing is brilliant. If I go to my multi-track with my music and I bring in my female voice over here and I can make an edit, let's actually make an edit here to the music and let's zoom it out and bring this here. So let's zoom this over here. Not only can I mix and cross fade clips. Okay, so you can hear the music there. They're both different levels. Well, non-destructively, I can select them both. I can right click, match the clip loudness, click OK to that. And suddenly, I'm just gonna turn the voice volume up a bit now. 23rd Street, Miami, Florida. That is brilliant, but also when I go back, same volume on the speech, same volume on the music, non-destructive editing. I can also go in now and I can go ahead, I can add some chorus. Let's add a nicer chorus, like for instance, the rich chorus and play that back. 23rd Street, Miami, Florida which is great. I can hit Shift and E to get rid of tracks I'm not using down below and zoom in a little bit more so I can really see what's going on. And then I might want to make a, another change. So I might want to add in some echo. Again, we'll go to delay and echo. Echo here. Now say I didn't want the chorus, rather than having to undo and go back multiple steps, it's as simple as going to my effects rack and disabling the chorus. 23rd Street, Miami, Florida. And now I've only got the echo and not the chorus. So as you can see and hear, it's super easy. Just remember that there's a time and a place for working with both views. You'll work with waveform many times when you're working on removing the noise from a clip. So if we go into effects, noise reduction and restoration, there are far more noise reduction effects here in waveform. And you can also pull up spectral view and see if there's any issues with the audio in waveform. And of course, if you're here in multi-track, while you do have some noise reduction effects, you don't have as many as the waveform. So when you're working with noise reduction and cleanup, waveform destructive is the way to do it. Just save up a backup copy of the file. But if you're making multiple edits and you know you might want to go back in time and change one from earlier on, definitely multi-track always saves my life.
Now, if you got this far in the video, you love Adobe Audition, you love audio, and you probably want to generate your own AI artificial intelligence voiceovers. So I highly suggest on the screen now you click and watch my video all about AI voiceovers in Adobe Audition.